Hey everybody, Travis here from Phillips Vision. And last time we talked about how we can use blur to draw some emphasis to our text over a busy background. Today we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna go ahead and put a color overlay on top of this as well. So we're gonna be talking about blend modes, we're gonna be talking about opacity and saturation and how we can use those elements to create an interesting background, okay? So we're gonna come into Photoshop and we have our image that we made last time with the blur. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a new shape. Okay, so I'm gonna create a square over our image and we have a cool yellow color right there. So I wanna show you some different ways that we could make a cool background um, with our image. So the first step is you can play with these blend modes, okay? And one that I like to use all the time is this hard light, okay? I, I think that one normally looks pretty good, but you can try any single one of these to give you an effect. And so we're just gonna go ahead and put it on this hard light right here, okay? So that's one way we can do it. Another way that we can do it is by putting it back to normal and we can actually just drop this opacity here and it gives it this faint look with the phone, okay? And I'll actually take it a step further sometimes and adjust the saturation on my image too. So we'll click on this, we'll go to our adjustments and we're gonna click hue saturation. So from here, you can actually emphasize it even more by turning down the saturation. So playing with this, we can get more of a saturated color or more of a muted color. And we can also, like we mentioned, play with the blend modes as well. So um, those are some creative ideas that you can try on your next graphic project using the blur using the blend modes, as well as using saturation and opacity to turn something that was boring into something that's interesting. Thanks so much, and if you have any media-related needs, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Phillips Vision. We would love to help. If you enjoyed this video or got some value from it, please consider subscribing to our channel so you can keep up with everything that we're doing at Phillips Vision.